Hey everyone, it's James from Brewing Books. So following my announcement video from last week about updating my YouTube channel, we're going to start vlogging about my journey as a writer, but also doing book reviews, unboxings. Well, today is a very special day because today is unboxing day. As most of you know, I'm a pretty huge J.R.R. Tolkien fan, as is evidenced by my slightly obscure book collection in the background. Well, this week saw the release of the 40th anniversary edition of Tolkien's Unfinished Tales. For those of you who may not be aware, Unfinished Tales was first published in 1980 and edited by Tolkien's son Christopher. Um, it's actually a collection of essays and narratives from Tolkien's Middle Earth. The book itself is a must read for any Tolkien fans who want to delve deeper into the world of The Hobbit, The Silmarillion and The Lord of the Rings. It's just a fantastic way to broaden your knowledge about Tolkien's imagination and also to delve into uh, the scope and pretty much the breadth of his fictional world. And now 40 years later we have these beauties. So I have the standard uh, hardcover edition and also the deluxe slipcase edition. So we're going to go through these both and see what they have to offer. Now first up we have the standard hardcover edition of Unfinished Tales. As you can see it has this beautiful dust cover jacket. This particular edition has a total of 18 new paintings by uh, renowned Tolkien artists Alan Lee, John Howe and Ted Nesmith. And we have here a fully illustrated map of the west coast of Beleriand. It's beautiful, very detailed and also very familiar to anyone who has read the Silmarillion and Unfinished Tales. So we've had to look inside, we have a number of these fully colored paintings, as well as uh, several uh, pencil sketches and illustrations. At the back of the book, we also have the map of uh, Middle Earth, again, fully colored. Um, I'm actually loving this particular shade of blue, which seems to be prevalent in, in this publication. We have chapter titles, which reflect the front and back cover of this edition. And you also have this uh, blue bookmark ribbon, which is a really nice little additional detail, which adds to the enchantment of the book itself. Okay, so this was pretty much a quick tour of the standard edition of Unfinished Tales. And now let's look at the deluxe slipcase edition. So the deluxe slipcase edition is pretty much the same book as the standard edition. It has the same text and also the 18 new paintings by the Tolkien artist. So let's unwrap this and have a look. Obviously, the difference is that the book is housed in a custom-built slipcase illustrated with wraparound artwork by Ted Nesmith. So I have a fully cloth-bound hardback, a stamped in gold foil with an inset miniature of John Howe's The Hunt for Dream. It also has this color fold-out poster which reveals the complete version of Alan Lee's dust jacket painting depicting the Numenorean royal ships. It has this large double-sided color poster which folds out to reveal colored versions of the maps of Beleriand and Middle-earth. Also, this particular edition is the first printing of just 4,000 copies worldwide. Well, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. Links to the books have been added down below in the video description. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for new content. As I said, I'm working on a new updated video of my bookshelf, so stay tuned and I'll see you.